And we'll start things off at Darling Stadium. The Hampton Crabbers taking on the Kickatan Warriors. Another game with major playoff implications as we see Hampton chasing that number one seed in Division 5. Matt Kickatan trying to make their way in Division 6. That's right. Hampton trying to take advantage of a Phoebus loss a week ago to uh, improve their standings in the PD. And you see right here the defense for Coach Mike Smith and the Crabbers get on the board early here with the big interception. That's Dion Newsom with a pick six, 43 yards. Hampton on top early against a tough Kickatan defense. As you see, the extra point in the rain over at Darling Stadium is good. Hampton on top, 7-0, only a couple of minutes in change into that one. Kickatan starts it off with their running game. They've got one of the top rushing attacks in the Peninsula District. And as you see right there, Adrian Pope loses his footing, but he's a pretty good ball carrier for them. And Kickatan will have to punt, though, in their first series. It will be Hampton trying to get the punt here. Ball could be loose, and let's see, does Kickatan get on top of it? They look like they do, so Kickatan might get a break here on offense despite going three and out. So Kickatan will try to kick a field goal, and the field goal try Matt is no good. That's a tough break for Kickatan. They're able to force a turnover. Can't capitalize, though. It's still 7-0. to zero. Crabbers, back on offense, are going to stick to the ground game, which has been effective for them all year long, as you see them with the pick up there. Now they're going to head the other direction this time. Another handoff, a nice carry here as the running back able to find some running room before he's finally brought down. It was Kevon Bellamy on the first run. Dallas Cogdell with a 41-yard run on the second attempt. And Hampton back in business in the red zone, threatening. They pitch it out here to Newsom. He will elude a couple of tacklers and make his way into the end zone on a three-yard run. Deion Newsom with two touchdowns for Hampton in the first half as they lead it 14 to zip. Heading towards the halftime mark with seven minutes to play, you see Scott Woodley from Kickatan trying to get things back in order. And their defense has been stout all year long, as you see the stuff right there by Terrence T.J. Rick. So can Kickatan's offense answer the call? They will keep it on the ground with Adrian Pope. He gets only a couple. That Hampton defense is swarming and coming at you fast. Now Kickatan runs it with Trenton Cannon, the leading rusher in the Peninsula District, but he's going nowhere as he's shoved out of bounds. Yeah, we're talking about in this matchup here, Matt. Points at a premium. Once again, a special team's miscue here by Kickatan. Kickatan almost leads to disaster. They're able to recover the uh, loose, uh, the bad snap. However, the ball comes loose and the Crabbers all over it, just making play after play. Two of the best defenses in the district here, flexing their muscles. Yeah, a lot of bad snaps. It's a rainy evening there at Darling Stadium, the wet football, and Hampton's going to decide, let's keep it on the ground. We don't need to throw it up in the air and have a mistake as they run it with Marshawn Williams, and he is met by Samir Sargent, the sergeant charge for Kickatan on the defensive line. Their defensive line, one of the better units in the region. Hampton will throw a pass here, one of their few on the night, and it's a completion to Quinn Moore with the catch from Jeremy Eubank. So Hampton's going to keep it now on the ground. They keep it with Dallas Cogdell, bruising running back for him, and he's hard to bring down. It's going to take three or four guys to tackle him. Yeah, you're talking about a Hampton Crabber team right now holding on to a two-touchdown lead. They're going to try and secure it just by keeping the clock moving, Matt, with the running backs they have with Cogdell just and Newsom having a good game. They just got to manage the clock here. You see Kikatan trying to find a... Uh, hole, if you will, in that uh, Crabber D, but the Crabbers are able to strip the football loose, and it looked like they pounced on the loose football. During this five-game winning streak, Hammond's been doing a great job of ripping the football out, and the Crabbers get the win, improved to 7-2 and two overall in the year. Kickatan drops to 5-4. and four. It's Hampton with a 14 and nothing shutout of Kickatan. You see Deion Newsom with a couple of touchdowns in that one. Dallas Cogdell with 55 yards rushing. Trenton Cannon, the leading rusher in the PD, with 51 yards on the ground and a loss. And from some other scores around the district, Phoebus rebounds from their loss, 42-7 over Gloucester. Belfield with two rushing touchdowns. Bethel Blanks, Minchville, 31-0. Frank Brown, 153 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Moving on, Warwick 42-12 over Heritage Bethay with an 85-yard punt return for a touchdown. And Woodside Blanks, Denby 39-0. The Wolverines with almost 400 yards rushing.